How you guys doing today? <clears throat> so something I was looking back at my videos and I came across a video that said, it was the title was how to be more attractive to women. It was a workshop I was supposed to do in 2018. I didn't finish, I just did like a part one. So now I wanna continue with part two, three years later. Wow, three years later. And I said, guys, I really don't do a lot of how to get women type of videos anymore. It's gonna be more or less about relationships and marriages. But I'm gonna finish this workshop and I think it's gonna help a lot of men. I am in the, the helping business. I'm also a life coach. So so this um, title number two, how to get women. The first title was self-improvement. The second title is going to be your social skills. And I kind of picked on that a little bit in the first video. You guys can go back to that, but social skills are essential to be attractive to the opposite sex, a essential. So let's get into it. And I hope anybody's watching this, you know, leave me a, leave me a comment if this is helping you out. Uh, leave me a like here or subscribe to my channel. All right, so I, the first video, I talked about improving yourself, having your life together, getting things right, and then you, and then you attract more women. This is gonna probably be the most important thing and it's your social skills. So it's not so much as game, so, you know, some guys like, hey, you gotta do it this way, you gotta do it this way. Hey, no, don't show her no attention right here. Don't show her no attention right there and all that. No, it's, you improve yourself, but you really need to work on your social skills. A lot of men, they, they are there as far as their finances, even if their finances are not there, they have ambition, they, they have a job, they just don't have social skills, they can't talk. They, it's not like they can't talk, they just have issues talking to the opposite sex. They have issues talking to with people in groups. And sometimes you need to be extremely confident. Let's say if uh, hypothetically, you see a pretty girl, you see a pretty lady right here, she's in a group, and she's, let's say she's shopping with a friend or something. You have to have the confidence to go there and talk with her. Now you can have confidence all day, but if you don't have the social skills, you're gonna be labeled you know, a creep or a weirdo. So one of the first things I say work on is your social skills. Now, the easiest way to work, this is the easiest way to get started. Now you can join different clubs, you can join Toastmasters, you can join uh, Improv, you know, but the easiest way to get started is go to Starbucks, go to your shopping centers, I want you to say hi to everybody, talk to people, spark up conversations out of nowhere. If you are, um, and if you have anxiety towards it, have anxiety toward it, but do it anyway. You feel the fear. You gotta get used to doing things that you are afraid of doing. Because outside of your fear is the next level. If you're afraid of something, it's like this, this right here. This is a, a ridge, this is a barrier. And you're afraid of it, right? You, you're afraid of this barrier and this is, oh, looking stupid in front of people or saying the wrong thing a judgment all that this is a barrier but as soon as you say okay regardless if i look stupid say the wrong thing i'm gonna i'm just going to cross it anyway so let me go ahead and just jump it and cross it right and you go you go to step two right that's what your social skills are you want to improve your social skills you talk to more people you become socially intelligent by interacting with people. That's how you do it. You become socially intelligent also by reading. You become socially, socially intelligent uh, by writing. All these things are important. Talking to people, reading and writing. If you don't read, if you don't, re <laughs> a lot of people don't understand this. Reading can really like increase your vocabulary and the way that you talk and the way that you think and the way that you interact. Sometimes you like, oh man, Sometimes I don't have the words to say when I'm talking. It just doesn't come up. I don't have the words to say. Well, you probably need to read more because reading is like it's exercising your mind. All right. So read more. All right. And write. And most importantly, interact. Go to people. Say how their day are. Ask how their day is. Spark up a conversation. Sort of thin air. You got to learn how to small talk. And do not worry if you look silly. Do not worry if you look stupid. Do not worry if you mess up. Do not worry if you pause and you can't talk or anything like that. Just say, hey, you know what? I, I lost my train of thought and let me gather it back. Take a couple seconds and gather it back. If they look at you stupid, they walk out on you. Good, great. That means you're making progress. Do it again. 
social skills. And it's not even just with women. It's not, it's also with every aspect of your life. If you are an incredible speaker, you are better than a lot of people out there. Not even just if you're an incredible speaker, if you can enforce or you can articulate certain things that people can understand, that means you are just in the like five percentile. So your speech is very important, extremely important to getting women. All right. If you want to get women, if you, if you, let's see, even if I say, cause you know, I'm a Christian life coach too. So even if you're in church and you pray, God, send me this, you know, God will give you how uh, God walk with me. God will give you like opportunities, but it's better to be prepared for the opportunity and not have it than to have an opportunity and not be prepared for it. So he gives you an opportunity to get someone, but you're not prepared. You're not, you're not, you're not socially developed to talk to somebody then you lost that opportunity. So you need to prepare now. Talk, 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 talk on the phone. Talk random. Just go out and talk. Spark up conversations out of thin air. And say, hey, you know what? Hey, it's, it's, the easiest conversation is the weather. Talk about the weather. Oh, man, it's, what is outside? It's, it's warm today. And you know, I checked the weather for the entire week. It's, you know, it's going to be like 70 degrees all week. That's beautiful, right? I mean, what, what do you have planned for this week? Or something like that. It, it, the thing about it is not... That, hey, I'm going to look stupid. I mean, you got to get that out. I'm going to look dumb. I'm just talking. It's not so much that as it's practice. In front, you're practicing socially developing yourself in front of people. It's practice. It's being immune to social interaction. And why, you know, why do I kick on that? Why do I make this the worst job? Man? Why do I make this number two? Because it's so important. Because when you're socially intelligent, you don't have to have all this game. When you know how to talk to people and know how to uh, bring humor to a conversation, you can talk intelligent, and you can talk a little bit down on this end. When you know how to do that, that's a very attractive trait to have. So, workshop number two, and I'm going to finish this. I'll probably, there'll probably be about five or ten points, but I'm going to finish this. Workshop number two, the attracting women, the woman that you want, the woman that will become your girlfriend, that will ultimately become your wife, and then you can do other things in your life, you should be doing other things already, it's developing your social skills. It's important, guys. Do it. Mark Frank, signing out. Catch you guys on another one.